One of the biggest downfalls on commercial real estate is management. Welcome to tips and tricks number nine. Management on apartments, retail malls, any commercial real estate is a key, huge mistake along with tremendous amounts of other mistakes. But we'll just give you this mistake uh, to give you an idea of what's going on. So, in this property, what we're looking at here uh, in the background is a 336 unit property, 14 complexes with eight units per level. Now, this thing's um, been in development pay phase, entitlement, zoning, and permits everything's been done and now we're in construction phase where we only have a couple of buildings already done and being leased out which is why this brings me to uh, some other properties clients properties are being leased out as well which m brings us to the topic of management why is management so critical management is so critical because as you know the income of the property is the property value so there's tons of ways to eliminate risk and increase the value there's ways once you hire me i can show you other ways to increase value from before it's even sold to where you're even better off than even if it is at ground zero now what you want to look for uh when you want to hire your tent i mean not when you want to have your tent you want to have professional skilled workers tradesmen government people like uh i mean it could be police nurses uh skilled tradesmen tradesmen and any you know plumbing electrical any any good skill any trade service um and you want to make sure that people don't have criminal records the criminal records that you're looking for the two biggest factors that ruin any apartment complex is domestic violence and drugs so of course you want to know the past real history and income etc etc but everybody lies and there's always ways around it and a uh, domestic violence person could be domestic violence but it could not be on their record or not showing up yet that they have the tendency so you want to be able to be alert and ahead so to make sure you have all the right tenants because if you have domestic violence you have the cops and tenants will move out because of the neighbors and everything else in the area same with the drug dealers so you want to catch this ahead of time because it's the fastest way to make a you know, $10, 20000000 million, $30 million, $5 million apartment complex turn into like $1 overnight because you don't have a good management structure. As well as setting up all your management on auto pay and giving them benefits and bonuses for being on time and things like that. Now, along with the paperwork of doing the background check and all this stuff, the key things that you would want to look for is um you are going to profile the person whether they're being honest or not and how do you do that well how you do that would be at if you're going to profile the vehicle the vehicle a vehicle that's missing hubcaps would be one of a person that shows lack of concern for how they look or appearance and they usually are is a sign indication of an impulsive move or uh, lack of judgment and lack of concern for what society thinks. So that means they are easy rule breakers. And a lot of these type of people have a high probability or high ratios of domestic violence. And a lot of people, uh, couples that have a car with missing hubcap or two, indicates this um also a lot of dents on a vehicle indicates that they're they drink a lot and that they end up uh getting in a lot of bang ups from drinking so these two are big signs of bad judgment and bad tenants <clears throat> interior windows the exterior window can be dirty the outside of the car can be dirty ideally you want to have a car that's clean on the outside with no dents be it new or used but the interior windows if they're all fogged up or they got some kind of haze on or whatever indicates they're smokers and smokers or marijuana smokers or regular smokers 
along with the dance or dance either or or individually indicate also bad judgment and money and they will spend more money on their drinking and smoking habits than paying rent and they are bad individuals to rent to not saying they're bad individuals or judging anybody in person other than other than whether they are a good tenant or not if they're a bad tenant this is what we're getting at interior windows indicate that potential gateway of course marijuana could lead into other marijuana purchases or drug dealers or drug dealer types which is bad scenario bad for your apartments bad for your complex you can have a management company do all this run over your highlights or whatever you want or you could train your own management company or if you're on a smaller scale and you're building out building out there's a lot of software you can manage your own property and do the auto pay and make your money off uh you know not paying that the five or ten percent for management but after you've got so many properties in your portfolio you want to have someone take care of it for you okay and the trucks trucks uh trucks that are beat up on the beds is a good sign they make a lot of money and they're good workers and there are a lot of good trucks trucks bring in a lot of money to apartments and people that have trucks are usually good good investments either a new truck or a truck that has a lot of beat up or dinged up on the bed but a uh, truck in the in between with uh hubcaps miss, missing and dents in it and the bed's fine well then that's you know probably a bad individual or super small trucks are not not a money maker truck but those are some key things to look at when you're building your property uh that you want to be interested in just for the management perspective now if you set up your management right and your property right when you build it then the minute you get it built you can turn around and sell for a couple million dollars right off the bat like one of my clients is doing it's already built there's a million dollars profit and that thing is ready to go also another benefit on this one was set up with uh, six duplexes on a two basically a two residential lot which turned out really nice because of the way we set it up there's actually no money out of pocket and things like that and on all these other properties that i'm training people on are getting cash out money up front we did another scenario with another format where it was uh the entrance was in the front and we had three on the back and then two units on the side with the road down the middle and then a street and parking lot right here so you have two here and two here so the format doesn't matter but this is actually in a key neighborhood property behind it we had made a lot of complaints to the city because well actually there was a vacant house and nobody lived there we got it basically tore down because it was just big eyesore but everything turned out fine and the property turned out fine is making money and it isn't now after now after it's being built uh we're loading up these tenants into the properties most of the properties we have are like all two and three bedroom units uh small ratio of one bedroom but this is all uh, duplexes it's like six two unit apartments uh whereas if you do the other layout you if you do the other layout you can do instead of six buildings you can pull off three on the back and two on the side so that would be an extra seven you'd have three here two yeah seven so that's 14 units but that worked for this location now when you have two and three units those are the most rentable and most profitable for your business makes the most money in the properties then when you screen your tenants and build up slow with the right tenants it all works out um uh just so showing you some interior of these properties so we have like uh three units rented on this one and then uh we're at about 50 percent almost 60 percent occupancy on the apartment complex and yes you notice the cars and the profile how everything matches you're going to go off the paperwork and stuff but a lot of people can lie on paperwork and a lot of people for references will say that use their friends and it was not even a real reference i mean you can verify all these things but uh you want to look at the overall picture if you have a right good tenants your building's worth more and it's a solid investment you made a good move you look at my parking lots you could tell it's exactly what i talk about because we're not stupid and we know what's going on and if you set up right you can build it where you could sell it right away but um 
doing a flip on a property is I mean that's easy quick money but if you never sell your properties then you're really gonna make the maximum amount of money and that's actually the best way to build your wealth is never sell because there's really no need to because the cash flow is there and the profit constantly going up and up and up so you really make more money by never selling but if but you gotta manage your tenants correctly and set your portfolio up the way everything will run and you don't have to worry about it so that's just a little simple trick for management on properties, uh, I have a lot of other things I would say, but since this is a generally public information about what I'm saying, well, normal people don't even do that, but I'm just saying I'm putting this out here in the public. I don't need all my, you know, competition coming up with real key secrets when they don't even have a clue. So I'm not going to put out the extra info out here, but there's ways to even do a lot more, which I'm not saying, but if you're looking into getting into a real high profitable margin industry and you're not afraid to work commercial industry is super hot and it's something you want to get into especially now that a lot of your retail and a lot of uh, apartments and things are facing higher interest rates and the people that bought into the apartments at um it's it's really key about buying the apartments in your properties retail properties at the right price closing fast and be able to have the control of the whole scenario and you can make it where is a low risk asset from the very beginning but most people they always put up the down payment and they buy at a terrible price and they don't even buy the right way they should buy it. ends up in a bad position so if they, and then they got a problem with the management. So they have all these key factors going against them they don't even know about. And they're just average, normal, clueless commercial real estate nerd that doesn't know anything but book smarts, but has no clue about practical use, about real elite level commercial real estate financing at all, or financing and management and funding and planning and the strategies and the real information behind the scenarios of what really works and what doesn't, the real pieces of the puzzle. And commercial real estate are not consumer level and they're not by these idiots go out and get ripped off it and rip off their um, investors and then they go brag like they know anything when they don't know anything and they're just chumps for the people behind them that are making all the money off them and they're making all the videos like they're the ones super smart and super rich when they're not and they gotta lie about how much their real net worth is because it's not even what it, people think it is but it looks all pretty and it makes people want to go to their gay seminar and learn nothing because they don't know anything. But if you want to really know how commercial real estate works, how it fits together, how the pieces can be manipulated in, out, and around, and how you can really learn to use commercial real estate and build wealth is what you want to learn from somebody like me that has done that. And had a company and 200 employees and done all this for years and years and then has been in the commercial real estate business not the marketing business not the youtube view business not the you know hot air business so commercial real estate is very dynamic and it works when you really know the key knowledge that nobody else knows because everybody else is following the same format and they don't even know what they're doing it's just hilarious once you actually start knowing what once you learn and know how to have the right mindset and how to really maneuver in commercial real estate where other people don't, a lot of things open up and it becomes really unlimited money. And it's so much money on top of money. It keeps closing more deals and deals that you're not going to want to disclose all the stuff you're making. You're not going to want to show everybody all the deals you're doing because, well, that people don't need to know. And you're going to realize how powerful it is once you get into this training you start buying properties and things now if that sounds like you you're willing to put an effort and get paid for your efforts and you have that kind of mindset well you definitely should give me a call or if you want to get your credit repaired or your corporate funding corporate funding is like one to three million but there is a, a little longer setup than normal because all the idiots out there want like the quick fix with credit cards and everything that 
I can get credit card funding, but if you do it right, the right moves, whichever else in there and I don't even know, they do it all wrong. Nobody gets one to three million in their first round. If you do things right and you actually have key knowledge about the way things really work, then you get super big money. If that's you, so what if that setup takes nine months it or maybe a year? It takes these guys 10 years or 20 years. They never see a million dollars their whole lifetime. You're saying, I got, I get to set up in nine months. If it's a really good file and I already have a person that has a brain, I can pull, pull it off like quickly. But that's not everybody. But even if it does take nine months, that's a million dollars first round. Then every three months is exponential money. So you're talking by the end of another year. One year, you're talking one million. Two years, you're talking increments of $10 million credit lines. That's not even counting if you're in commercial real estate pulling out a million to $3 million per property. It depends on the deal. I mean, if you start out small on a retarded level, you probably get like 500000 And that's even if you did things wrong. That'd, that'd be like if you cut off your arms and legs and we're just stupid but i know people that are even not even uh functioning with arms and legs they still make more money than that but it's all your your mindset your knowledge and learning how to learn the new language and the new pieces of the puzzle and how they fit together and how the pieces can be taken apart and manipulate it and put back together in certain ways in order and having the key persons behind you with the key knowledge and the key factors on every angle that puts it all into place. I don't want to say all the key words and things because I don't need to be sharing all this information with the mass public. I only want key people that are smart, not young, dumb idiots who want the quick fix and can't even make a payment or don't even know how to you know, run a business or start a business or even have intent of like really pulling off something that requires actual real work. I mean, yeah, there's a few smart younger people, but not that many. But if you are that smart, younger, mature person, sure, that'd be great. But in general, in general, like the corporate credit flunkies that, that watch every corporate credit video on like how to get a $300 credit card or like PWAC credit card that's just they're clueless they just don't even know and the people that are teaching them are even way more clueless with no money so okay so much for the soapbox anyhow uh that's just basically basic management make a high quality product get a great price screen your mat screen your tents and things like that profile them Make your properties worth what they're worth, and then they're easy to fill and not sabotage themselves from the wrong tenants. Okay, that's just a simple basic tip or trick. Number nine, hope that helps you guys out. I'm here if you're interested in moving further. My number is 312-473-4163. Thanks. <laughs>